What up, everybody, and welcome to the FB and Goob Show. I'm FB. And I'm the Goob. Sponsored by the Good Time Tavern of Livermore, California. How's the Goob? The Goob is good, man. I am uh, fiercely awaiting the finals of uh, all these conference semifinals, the Knicks series, uh, you know, all the hockey stuff. And I can't wait to talk about that and how the Pistons got screwed, some Giants Dodgers, but I heard... Uh, there's been an announcement from the FB camp, and I just wanted to. Uh, that's you probably know more about that than me, right? Yeah, I know a lot about that. Um, as the president of the FB Tyler Reddick fan club, I would personally like to apologize to Goob. Who is the president of the Goobs Australian Butcher <laughs> Australian Fan Butcher. Club? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to apologize for the shenanigans on the twelfth lap or the uh, you know twelve laps before the finish. So the- Darlington NASCAR, I yeah. turned in, I tuned in, and I'm like, oh man, this is great. <laughs> FB's guys in first, my guys in second, or like vice versa, my guys in first now. So it was just very, ah, I turned in at just the right time. You did. And then I, then I couldn't believe what I just saw. So you're apologizing for what just happened after that. Yeah, I'd like to formally apologize for the shenanigans of Tyler Reddick on the 12th lap, the 12 laps before the end of the race. For uh, for taking you out and me out. Man, we were just driving. I'm just driving here. Uh, I, I personally believe that you lost your opportunity of getting into the chase when it was sitting in front of you 12 laps to go um uh, out of that uh brad kozlowski won the race (laughs) got a win and put himself into the championship your win in fact and that's two weeks in a row now that you have just narrowly lost a race one by 0.0001 second and the other one by Tyler Reddick's bad decision to try to pass you. <laughs> Man, we were What's just what? going, and then, then you tried to pass us instead of, like, just, you know, I didn't make it. You are just like, nah, just slam me into the wall. Yeah, you And know, I thought, like, that's a weird strategy in NASCAR. It is. They call it, you know, Talladega, you, you bounce off the walls at Talladega a lot. I don't know. It's the way it's formed. It's just you can you can scrape the wall and keep still full speed and – but you really sure, can't but... like bounce into the walls and be bounced in on the other side. And yeah. I had a tire go down. I honestly wish the tire, just as Tyler Reddick had said, I wish the tire had just gone down and I ended up in 32nd and you still won the race. That would have been what would have been the best for everybody. Um, but instead, we got to watch the fastest drop of a first and second place guy, which was you and me. We yeah. both lost our tires and watching the little thing on the side of the TV going, for a second the whole way down and they just kept flipping the screen because we ended up in the 30s by the time like it was like 10 seconds it was like Whoop, you guys are in last 30, <laughs> it was so crazy. 30 and 30 second yeah we yeah un- it was unbelievable um like you predicted a fist fight after it i guess our guys are just too red bearded and nice to do that but i i expected a little more i i kept you on the phone because when that phone call happened i was like man i can't believe he's calling me right now <laughs> hey dude how yeah you doing? No, it was um, shocking that i just flipped over for that moment i'm like yay oh what oh the- my god it's over i can't believe it's over i was blown away i was like man i can't believe that tyler reddick took out busher who needed a win <laughs> unbelievable i gotta call him and i talk mean to we him gotta later. get a hold of these guys because i mean being the presidents of their respective fan clubs i think that uh they would want to, they're they're obviously looking to help us out. So keep the rivalry so alive, guys. Yeah, Hashtag hope... Busher versus Reddick. Yeah, in a boxing match. Um, when it comes down to it in the end, Kozlowski won, that was bad for you. You know, but there was you know, Hamlin was in the top ten. That does not hurt you. He has three wins, four wins. Hamlin is way in it. Sure. Haley McDowell, they were in the top 10, does not affect you. There's so many points behind you, does not affect you. The guys that were in the top 10 at Darlington, there was four or five of them, those guys, 
that did not affect the busher. Bubba Wallace affected you a little bit because he was top 10 and he's like 13, 14. So he's still creeping. He's still looking at you. He's still wanting to get your spot. And uh, Kozlowski winning because that was the that was the bad. That's now nah, that's a win. No, that's another win. That's another. If 16 guys get wins, uh oh, you're nice. not going to make it. We so. lost that one spot, but we're still there in points, even though we got 35 instead of like second or third or fourth. Thanks a lot. Oh, you and uh, yeah, we're still looking good. We're the hot team. You are the hot team right now. I think Bush is the hot team. Bush will be fine. We'll be fine. We do that. We're like the A's. Remember, we do that July run. You're going to do the July run. We're going to get one. You, I, I, I've got a good feeling you'll get a victory before this is over, before the beginning yeah. of the chase. Um, will the Giants get another victory? Well, yeah, this is another thing where I feel like you are just trying to screw me over constantly. <laughs> like, this week Christ. I got gotcha. you. This week I fucked you in NASCAR. That oh, was yeah. my bad. You... I felt I felt like I needed to apologize for that. I was like, damn, that's a bad one there. It sure. Was a bad one. No, uh, the beating the beatings we're taking from the Dodgers right now is uh I mean, we're talking about fire the GM, fire everybody, trade whoever. I mean, it's it's mass hysteria in uh in by the bay as far as baseball is concerned did um did you get an mri back on um your two weeks men month max i think it's not really more of a sprain so we don't really know whenever it heals whenever it heals okay cool yeah it's not a surgery thing so a 10-1 beating the day otani crushing one out of the park crushing one out of the park holy (laughs) holy (laughs) mother of I mean, how great would he have been in San Francisco? He hit that like triples alley didn't exist. He didn't care if it was 419 anywhere. I mean, this ball was, he almost hit it dead center and it almost hit the water. I mean, this was an impressive, impressive home run. If he, if it would have been summertime, he would have hit the water. It's pretty I mean, cold, pretty thick, thick aired. Yeah, most people hit it in the water over that little brick area in right field. He hit it over <laughs> triple Almost alley. the center. Yeah, I know. It's, it's close. No one, it was, in, the, right no one in those was... stands ever even get baseballs, and they were looking over their heads. It was, uh, yeah, Otani, come to San Francisco, cancel your contract in L.A. That inning actually was um, home run, a triple, a double, a single, a walk. There was we got every every little hit you could get every way you could get on base we did it oh, yeah. in that inning. Right. So. Yeah, well, injuries are a part of the Giants' demise right now, but it's clear that you're the better team, the better franchise, and Giants fans are. Uh, I mean, we need to win tomorrow night, or it's gonna be it's gonna get ugly here because Philadelphia comes in town, the Yankees come in town, both top teams in the uh, league, and it, like I said, it can get ugly here. Hold on, I believe I wrote something down. Aren't the A's ahead of you guys by like six games, seven games, something like that? You know what? <clears throat> you know what? Let's that not do funny. that. You know, we won't worry about what the A's are ahead of you right now. So. No, but I had a dream that somehow the A's snuck in and won a World Series and had a World Series championship trophy celebration in front of 7,000 Sacramento fans. Sacramento? That would be great. <laughs> I would be so happy. to. I would go to that. I would, yeah, right. I would, I would somehow figure There'll out. There'll be like I, a I million people in Sacramento. In tickets to the Sacramento A's, so I could go to the fucking World Series award ceremony because <laughs> yeah, that's right. that's like hey. that's small venue shit. It, that's it like a dream going, I had. <laughs> that's like going and see. That's like seeing Metallica at the Fillmore. You know what I mean? It's like, wow, where did you see Metallica at the Fillmore? There's like fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred people in there. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. It'd be genius. Yeah. She'd be genius. That'd be, I missed a, I missed a small venue show with Stevis one time that broke my heart and I really wish I had just gone to it, but, um, uh, yeah, that'd have been genius. So yeah, listen, um, giants need some help, bub Dodgers don't need any help. That didn't change much. Did it? Hardly at all. There's a couple teams that are like tied that kind of flip flopped, but yeah, no, this week was very, uh, very normal as far as baseball standards are concerned. Guardian still holding strong. I saw that. Um, yeah, I got my Indian jersey running and running in front. 
right in front there. I see that. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a mirage, and it still might be, but they're uh, and there's a reason they got three guys on my fantasy team that are Indians, Guardians. Guardians. I think, but, but, I think they but, can hit. It's still early. I mean, other than the big – so, so far after – listen, after well, – how many games we had? 40 games? 42 games? Something like that? Something like that. Okay, so after this, 40 games. After 40 games, we'll round it down. We'll say 40 games. Um, Orioles, Yankees, still where we expected them to be, kind of fine for this tied spot. Big shocker, the Rays kind of fell out of the – fell out of the limelight there. You think maybe they gave away a little too much uh, power? Dodgers got the best pitcher in baseball. That came from the Rays. Right. Uh, lost some – some people did dumb things. They lost those people. I, I just uh, they fall in the fourth place, just like the Red Sox have fallen to. You know, I mean, I don't know. I just, you know, I'm looking at it. That's a big question for me. Guardians. Being well, I mean, I, th- I think we, I think we said that in the beginning that the the Tampa Bay had lost too much, and injuries are always taking toll. They, uh, their closer Fairbanks was out for an extended period of time already. He just came back today, threw a fucking shutout ninth inning, but then. Their next closer blew it in the tenth, so Tampa Bay again lost today. Um, I mean, just things aren't working out well. It seems like Boston and their youth has a little bit more of a the team's a little bit more juice than the Tampa Bay squad this year. You know how baseball is; the energy kind of can carry you. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Diamondbacks last year, man. Yeah, they Diamondbacks last year. Youth, they man. just had the juice all year. The juice all year long, man. All the way to the World Series, actually. Very impressive, yeah. you know. So, um, the West I thought was. Um, the Mariners, I was really happy to see the Mariners in first place. Pitching sure. still killing it. Got to yeah. love their pitching. Uh, well, I haven't know. seen not, not too much Julio down by the schoolyard this year. I'm waiting for uh, – but he's he's also one of those late late season bloomers like the A's. And uh, – <laughs> the Hey, listen, that's – they're – the three teams, it's, it's switched. It was the Astros and – you know, the Mariners la- or the, uh, you know, the Astros yeah. last year, the A's have moved into their spot. The Mariners have taken first and the yeah. Rangers with Mr. Bochi are sitting in second place. So, you just know, I, 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 huh? The Bochi gnome is just fine. He's, he's like, fine. he fine. sits in second. He's in a good spot. You know, he'll be fine. Yeah. Just make it to the playoffs. That's when he turns on. He's fire in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bochi is, he just turns into like ghost rider in the playoffs, <laughs> pulls he up does. in a big ass Harley and shit. I got him here, I think. You there got you Bochy there? <laughs> I think so. I think Bochy's – there he is. The Bochman's flown up top there. Well, I got to push him back a little bit. He's going to fall off on another door slam. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to save the Boach because he's uh, – you know. I love the Boach. No matter how much I hate the Giants, I love the Boach. Like a four-time World Series champ or something. I hate shit. that prick. But he was definitely going to fall over on another door slam. He was close. He was riding edge. He was, <laughs> was going to pull a Jackie Robinson, <laughs> go for a, a head dive. No, Jackie, no. No, Jackie, no. So, listen, I, I, I'm I'm excited for the A's. I really am. Like you said, I'm excited for the A's. I'm excited for the Mariners. I like that division being flipped. I hate the Astros, so I'm really excited to see the Astros, even though they beat the A's on a little walk-off double today or yeah. single. We're all I, waiting for Houston to explode. I mean, they've got uh, the leading home run guy, Tucker, starting to get hot, which uh, as far as home runs versus stolen bases, Ellie De La Cruz, 25. Man, that guy's fast. <laughs> and then who would be leading home runs? Would that be Otani? Kyle Tucker with 13. Otani's not. I thought Otani, is he 12? Otani, Otani's second in home runs, first in batting average, first in hits, first in OPS. Okay. I thought, uh, he was, he was, I thought, I thought today put him tied again, but he's only at 12 then. Where's, T, where's that Hernandez guy then? Dodgers got so much hitting it's just insane well you guys had a different hernandez hit a home run against us so i'm not even sure did tosca hit one too i know uh enrique or whoever it is hit one i don't know tiasca played tiasca played the day i didn't see him hit a home run though i know otani did so yeah i missed it, bits and pieces no. of the game i was working on the show doing some other stuff i had the kids for a tiny i had the kids until eight you know after school till eight so not bad uh i'll ask you more still- about that maybe Philly's still holding on, even with a little bit of injuries. And how's the uh, how's the first pitch swinging going for the boy? Good, because he's still doing it. Because if you don't swing, you can't hit it. And these guys are throwing the ball down the middle a lot more. And their focus in this league is just trying to get the ball down the middle. So swing, you know, because I mean they're you know 
They're not. Brought there's not any. Good time tap. <laughs> right? Sponsored by the Good Time Tavern. There's not any change ups or curves or fastballs. There might be little bits of movement, but not like too controlled. But the ball is usually just trying to get down the middle. Swing. Swing the fucking bat. God damn it. Swing that bat. Uh, he got on base twice, but he got two walks this week. Uh, just good eyes. He just All didn't. Right. Yeah. I mean, good eye. Good eye, buddy. You know, what can Excellent. you do? So you're happy that, about that. You're happy about the Dodgers. You're happy about. I'm not happy, happy about, about the Phillies. I'm not happy the Phillies are ahead of us. I'm not happy about that at all. I'm happy they're ahead of the Braves, though. I'm happy the Braves are not this juggernaut as we know. So, even though it's only two and a half games, but. Sure that. <laughs> the baseball moves on, and so do we. Um. Yeah. We're uh, happy about the I mean, You have to move on because you can't be happy at all. Right. I said, I said I was uh, going to lead you to the Knicks because you're happy about something. I'm happy about the Dodgers. Listen, I'm happy the pot. I mean, listen, I'm happy you guys are doing so bad, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, I'm I'm ecstatic about that. I know you are. <laughs> if you want to talk about the Knicks, though, I'm ready. Yeah, I think it's time to move on to the NBA playoffs. It, to, today, uh, today brought the two the, the two better teams back to where they should be which is w winning the series. The Knicks back to winning the series. Brunson with 44, four and seven, another 40 point game from this guy. DiVincenzo on fire and fiery. <laughs> Irie, yeah. DiVincenzo is yeah. not fiery. Get, getting into fights, you know, Hart got rest today. He only had to play 39 minutes instead of 48 minutes. Only 39 minutes? That's only fantastic. 39 minutes. We, yeah, so. So you basically rested the guys for the next game. So you think, I mean, rest equals wins for the Knicks. Did you uh, did you get OG and Obi back, or did you win without him no, today? Not yet. A, a win without OG. So we've okay, had. So uh, that, that's huge. That's our first win without OG. Like so. ever. <laughs> no, no, it's not our first win. <laughs> almost ever almost ever he he has made the biggest change for the Knicks since he showed up Brunson has been a, a become a superstar with the Knicks but all right OG's so my question now of course yeah I'll give you your right Brunson is a superstar my question quickly though was uh all right so game six knowing that even if you lose you come back to Madison Square Garden do you push OG and Obi or you just let him sit one more game and see what happens Oh, well, I mean, there's been a lot of blowout. That... There could be another blow at game six one way and then another blow at game, blow seven, game seven. seven. Well, the home team has won every game. So if I have to come home and I give OG a, 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 a he's going to come back really healthy in game seven. Right. Then I, I give him the rest. I, I hamstring might never heal till sure. the end of the season. So eventually he's either going to have to play through it like play through the fact that, you know, it could just give out again because it didn't heal because you've only let it fucking rest for two weeks. And so it's not healed. So um, the way we played at home, they beat us by 30 the day before we beat them by 30 today. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. it's a weird yeah. series, you know, I don't Very know. Weird series. Do I want to go back game seven and take the chance? No. Ah, you, you still haven't closed out a series there since like way back when, huh? No, because we beat Philly in Philadelphia. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'd rather just beat the Pacers in Indiana. Yeah. All right. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. Listen, the Celtics are going to close out the series tomorrow. So if we're the team that needs rest, we should yeah, probably try to close this series out. Well, there's one thing that shouldn't be a question. Donovan Mitchell, no chance without him. So he's got to go out there with his knee or whatever, you yeah. know. He and has he's, to. And he's 70%. Yeah. 80%. So that series is over. That's <laughs> why then it would be better for the Knicks to close their series because the Celtics are going to close their series tomorrow. Yeah. And and I know that TV probably has a start date just because that's what TV does. So they probably got the start of the West Eastern Conference Championship like next Tuesday, you know, that's when they're going to start it. Because the Knicks would play Sunday. They're not going to give too many days off. You know what I mean? So it's probably just, so it'd be better for the Knicks to end it on Friday. If that's the, or Thursday, if that means they get till Tuesday, 
You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, it'd be better to end it. If we got to play on Sunday though, we, you know, we beat them by 30 today. So let's let OG rest, but you're right. Listen, Cavs game is done. Uh, Luca thunder. They got, they got a chance. I mean, I, like, I still think Kyrie's got that look in his eye, but SGA was like, you might have that look in your eye, but I am 23 years old and I am fucking a big ass stud and I am taking over games now. Like you used to every possession defensively, offensively SGA is getting it done. Yeah. Kyrie's not playing four quarters. Kyrie's showing up third quarter, you know, end of second starting. Yeah, third Kyrie off, needs so. a, he needs a healthy Luca. Yeah. So he can he just show up and that. do uncle drew every once in a while right he doesn't have a healthy luca that's the problem luca's yeah, playing through luca, a lot of injuries luca's like a hockey player right now he's like after the season the like, yeah he had a dislocated shoulder yeah, uh, right. no, menis- no meniscus no meniscus <laughs> four broken ribs he had a torn jaw <laughs> really yeah. man that guy yeah. as slow as he moves he really got tough, them in so yeah I, I i don't know i i really like the thunder but i think this is gonna be okc nuggets yeah, no, that's yeah, exactly. We don't know what's gonna happen there, but OKC Nuggets would be excellent. The Nuggets look like they're gonna uh, kind of take care of Minnesota now tonight. The Joker oh. put up almost fifty and like a triple double, yeah, basically, right? Forty seven and a some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. He he's uh and he just trying did to this, keep but... up with Brunson is what I see. Is all I see is just trying to keep up for. This is this is Jokic just keeping Minnesota at nine points for the whole game. Like nope. You got six? Nope, it's time. Went down two, came back, won three in a row. Pretty much think the Nuggets got this series now. They might Kinda have something like, figured out. Yeah, as long as Murray stays healthy, that's that's a wash also, I believe. Let's not jinx that young man. I hope that man stays healthy. Yeah, that would – he always kind of gets injured in the playoffs, so that would yeah. fuck the whole thing up. You know what I mean? The one year he didn't get injured was that last year they won, right? But the year against Mitchell and Jazz, he got injured that year. During the yeah, playoffs. that was ridiculous. That, yeah, that was a great year with. Donald I would just like to see those guys play one on one forever. Dude, if <laughs> Mitchell could go somewhere else in the East and just see Murray against Mitchell in a championship, that beast. Just before they get old, though, we can't. You know, I always wanted to see Tom oh. Brady and Aaron Rodgers go against each other, and now Tom Brady would have to come back to the Niners after Purdy got hurt, like week thirteen, and like. I don't know. Be weird. So, uh, did you see the NBA draft lottery? Because I wanted to give my I, Pistons a shout out <laughs> for once again getting rammed in the can by the NBA. Like, seriously, worst record two years in a row. They give us the fifth pick two years in a row. Not even like two or three. Like on, the we, fifth. We talked fifth. about five. this. I know five. We talked about this, though. Nobody knows who's coming out of this draft. I heard somebody yesterday say they the the number one pick in the draft should be the center out of Purdue because they reminded them of Yao Ming. The fuck? Sure, I'll take six years of a tall, goofy guy. No thanks. No thanks. Fuck no thanks. <laughs> Remind you of who? Even Yao though he Ming. was he was awesome, but no thanks. No thanks. I don't remember. I don't remember Yao Ming's career being that amazing he had, he had six years of pretty good you know no, uh, listen great years but i don't remember jordan i i would rather take the next anthony edwards than the six years of gu- of, of yama the next rip hamilton or brandon pazimski give me give me the next chauncey billups <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> all right so, yeah, you were saying top five it is a good year for pistons not to get number one yeah because you you're gonna take you have well, a pig I, and a poke. I told you that kid, uh, Dalton Nick from Tennessee, that kept harassing Kentucky guys all year. I think he would be nice at number uh, five. Okay, there you go. That six ten gun shooter. Yeah, stud. I think, I think he would fit nicely on our team, and five would be about the the top of where you start drafting him compared to the other guys being so athletic and French and stuff. You can't get <laughs> Shepard at five. The kid out of Kentucky. Maybe he's projected four through seven now. So Shepard, maybe right, he I, was projected two, then he went to three, and now he's four. I through mean, seven. Th- that is the risk. If you take Dalton Neck, then he's always been everyone's super stud. And if he doesn't get 40 shots a game, and now we got issues again. If you take 
Reed Shepard. General he leader. Is, he will he will mold into whatever you need him to be and then help Make the team stuff. better. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So yeah, that's interesting picks. I'd rather have the superstar because we still don't have that guy. Kate Cunningham's pretty good. It's not a superstar. Jaden Ivey, definitely not a superstar. Uh, Sir Thompson looks like he could be a like Dennis Rodman kind of guy. Like, you know what I mean? We have pieces now, but we still don't have Isaiah Thomas. We don't have Yeah, but we didn't draft our superstar. We we took him from the Mavericks. <laughs> nice. Good move, Nick. Good move. Yeah, right. So yeah. they're they're out there. You just got to nab one. You just got to build enough pieces there to get a superstar to make it matter. So you you've got young studs. You've got young pieces. Fifth but can't be bad. Yeah. The Knicks got twenty four and twenty five. I was like, <laughs> all right. You, we can only pick ahead of ourselves. Like, you trade up to thirteen, then. That's what I'm thinking. Let's get to seventeen. Let's trade yeah. twenty four, twenty five, or seventeen, or. 24, 25, and Julius Randle for Steph Curry. Done. Done. See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, no, wait. We want Brunson. Sorry, my bad. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We keep Brunson. We got we keep the Villanova, the Villanova trio, and we add Steph Curry with Hardstein and Mitchell Robinson. And I have McBride and... Jericho I guess, Sims. I guess Randle. Jericho Sims. All right. Well, all right. Maybe. All right. all right. We'll get back to that. We'll get back. Hey, listen, that Curry trade should be talking about. Curry's to go to New York. He could spread his product all over the East Coast. He could. He would. He would be a king in New York, man. Him and Brunson together. They. they I mean, it would just be like. Him and Brunson and the New York Rangers. <laughs> and the New York Rangers, baby, take it. You got some hockey to talk about. The world needs to know how good my ex Rangers are. Well, yeah, we got four series left, and I feel like there's two fun ones and two ones that are inevitable. And starting with New York, the Rangers, I believe their series with Carolina is inevitable. I know Carolina's won a couple in a row, and they're uh, they're scrappy. And they got a lot of ex Penguins, and I'm really rooting for the Hurricanes. Let's hang, well, right? It's just like New York's bigger and stronger, and all that shit. Like, who yeah, knows? but I feel like that one's inevitable. Uh -huh. I feel like. Um, Dallas versus the Avalanche. Dallas Inevitable. number one seed. I think that one's inevitable. They just Avalanche cannot stop Dallas from scoring. Robertson and Johnson and Heskinen just having their way with the defense. So I feel Is like that Dallas three one or three two now. Three one. Three one, right? Right. That series is over. Dallas yes. was the President Cup. Wasn't Dallas the President's Cup? People I believe they were, yep. Okay. Yeah, so we have those two, which I think are over. Dallas over. and New York. And then we got the two fun series, which in the West is McDavid versus Vancouver, which I think every game's had a lot of goals and it's always been a one goal game and comebacks and McDavid getting hit in the face with a stick was amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was a good game tonight. That game had yeah. two goals in less than a minute. That's right. And Edmonton came back to win. So, I mean. Yeah. They don't like when McDavid gets hit in the face. They're going to play hard. So oh, yeah. that's going to be a fun series till the end. No clue who's going to win. Obviously, everyone wants McDavid because he'd be fun to watch. He's and the, the other, what's the other series? Like oh, yeah, Panthers, Florida Boston. Florida Boston. Florida yeah. Boston again is getting close, but could Florida once again knock off the Bruins and end a really good season for Boston? They could have, yeah. I think, yeah, I think look at, let's I, do it again. I, I, I don't see why they don't do it in Boston. Right. Let's go to Boston and knock Boston out. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. So that's all I got for hockey. I mean, it's exciting. We got, you know, got some ships going on. I think Panthers who were in it last year against the Rangers who should have been in it against. That's convenient for you, but yeah, that's, that'd be fun. That's well, it's convenient for me. I went to win, win for me, my yeah. new Panthers or my old Rangers, my ex-girlfriend or my new girlfriend. You know <laughs> I mean? Like, you don't mind, you know, if like one right. wins and you watch her walk away, you go, I fucked her too. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I fucked her too. So that's good. Um, no, I'm, I'm in, I, I'm, 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 ex it's, you know what? Dallas, New York. That sounds like a, an excellent hockey right. finals. Right. 
Yeah, Either no, one of those I, two I, teams could have been the President's Cup. One got it, the other one could have had it. JR from Dallas walking up and watch walking into Goodfellas. Hey, who the fuck are you, yeah, guy? That's that's now Jews can't leave. You know what I mean? And they lock the door of the bar and bats right. come out and we shit could that happen. Meme except for like very untalented doing that. You know what? That would be a good meme if to get some Dallas guys or just use that scene. It's Ewing, just, yeah. Yeah, just use but, that scene in the movie. And put, just put like cowboy hats on the bikers <laughs> and then right. put like Rangers jerseys on the, on the sure, Brooklyn guys. Done. Yeah. You know what it's I mean? It's got to be done before. Lock the doors. Yeah. I'm in. Let's do that. Let's figure out a way to do that. Probably get sued guy. by that. Uh, probably get sued by that guy. All right. <laughs> yeah. I forget the director too. Yeah, what but are players of the week? I, I got a couple soccer guys. Who you got? I got one performer of the week. I thought was really impressive. Josh Hart was my performer of the week for all of last week. He With three hearts and three four hearts. He must have two hearts because I don't know how you play forty eight point two minutes average in a game that only lasts forty eight minutes, <laughs> which means you never stopped one time. And gave 0.2 extra percent in the end. <laughs> That's what you got. You just did. So yeah, tough unless you're 18, pretty much. Uh, very tough unless you're 18. And even tonight, he, he only went for 39 minutes, but still 18 points. The guy's been rebounding the ball like a madman. I mean, he is like, like a little man. Draymond Green out there. Yeah, he's 10, 12, 14 rebounds um, a, a game in this playoff. So, yeah, my performer of the week was him. Uh, Hartstein has been another firecracker for the Knicks. And if I had another performer of the week that I really wanted to give one tonight, 17 rebounds, 17 points or no 17 rebounds, seven points. And what, like five assists for a guy going out there and giving his all. And you know, he's my player. He's my boy Hartstein. So those are my two performers of the week. Hart Hart and Hartenstein. Hart and Hartenstein, Josh Hart and Hartenstein. I just all about the Knicks heart. And those are my two performers of the week. Hey, listen, Brunson could be it every single week, but he can't do it by himself. And those are the two players that I think, well, DiVincenzo, but those are the two of the players helping him the most. Now it's truth. DiVincenzo. Yeah. I got a performer of a week and uh, that's going to be Christian Pulisic again. He had two goals. This week for AC Milan, one with the left foot, one with the right foot. He's now got 23 goal contributions over all <laughs> competitions. And he's got to be their MVP. He's going to get a card for uh, my video game, EAFC, which is actually now hated because they gave everybody Mbappe. That's a whole different thing. I wish I had to stream something about that before. But uh, anyway, so Pulisic again is one of my performers of the week. And Juventus. Which uh, Weston McKinney and also Timmy Wea will be going for the Coppa Italia as Americans as part of the Juventus squad. Juventus. And, uh, so I'm looking forward to that tomorrow, and then we have also some more stuff to look forward to. Uh, about, I'm the NBA playoffs, man. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to Tiger Woods making another appearance at a uh, major. He's going to Louisville this week. Hey, one in 2000. I don't know if I think it was his first PG. Isn't it Valhalla? <laughs> Valhalla. So listen, I'm excited for that. Listen, I think he only played like maybe two holes of golf or three holes of golf before the masters. Before the PGA, he's actually played the masters all four rounds. And two round, two practice rounds of Valhalla. And I'm sure he's probably played a little bit of golf in between. So I'm expecting another cut made and another, another, I don't know. I, I, I'm expecting to see Tiger in red. Nice. Yeah. Do you want to, uh, Michael Block, do you think he's going to make another cut? That, I uh, hope Michael Block does. That was exciting to watch the Tour Pro yeah, guy Tour make Pro. the cut. He's going for it again. Uh, no one's ever I, done it twice in a row. Scotty Scheffler got a chance with a three month, three week old baby in the house. Well, check this out. I mean, honestly, we have three players. This is unusual. We have three players that have all won their last event. Okay. I know one of them because I think Scottie he's going to win. Right. Scheffler, yes. Rory McElroy. Right. Rory won last week. Rory's uh, won two weeks in a row. Rory could win three if he wins this week. 
right? And also Brooks Kepka in the LIV won his last event, and he was defending champion. So we have three guys that both won their or all won their last event. They're all in the top five of the uh, the odds. Oh, I mean, odds. we got a lot of on fire golfers coming together in Louisville right now. It should be a great week, I think. So Tiger Woods wins then. That's what you're saying. No chance. No chance. I got my Wait. money on Rory this week. If he wins this week, it'll be three in a row. So wherever he's at, this will be his third win in a row. So if he yeah. wins. All right. So well, I don't know. he's probably over in the European tour right now playing golf, coming over and playing in a PGA thing, because I still know there's still a lot of like little bit of. There's some turmoil even between Woods and, and McElroy. This whole LIV thing is still a deal. There's a lot of behind the scenes stress. There is a lot that, of behind the scenes. I think I think we don't care about since Greg Norman's not fucking anybody on a boat anymore. You got to care about it a little bit though, because the PG the PGA. I mean, like if you go on a a, a, a non major tournament week, other than Scheffler and Shoffle, you're not getting McElroy, and you're not getting this. You're not getting at the Texas Open. You're not getting. All the one you're not getting everybody. You have to wait to a major to see McElroy or the TPC of Sawgrass or so it is affecting the PGA, right? He's just staying over in Europe and playing on the European tour. Yes, the majors get all the LV guys. It makes them even more crazy than it used to be, yeah. which is not exactly what we were going for here. No, well, it is affecting who's watching any of the other fucking tournaments and nobody. They're just they're garbage now. You you're like it like Scotty doesn't play against anybody who's when he's playing in the Texas or the or the Buchan or the whatever fucking the Buick or the there's nobody there anymore. Right. So, you know. I don't know. It's it, it has hurt the PGA. I am excited for that. I'm excited to see that. I'm excited for uh boys got a couple more baseball games. I'm excited for those. So whether than that, I'm FB. Go Tows on the cross. Go Taz on the cross. Nobody even knows who that is. That's hey, we lost to Syracuse the other day. Uh, that's the goob. He likes Thousand. Peace.